Hello children. Today we are going to talk about verbs. Okay, which forms an integral part in a sentence. So verbs can be either transitive or intransitive. And after that, we shall be discussing about subject verb agreement. Where if you follow the rules, then construction of sentences becomes much easier for you. Okay, now coming to verbs. We all know that verb is an action word. It tells us what a person or thing does. Like when you say a plumber repairs pipes. Repairs over here is the verb. Then a verb tells us what is done to a person. In this example, you see Seema was praised by the teacher. Was praised over here is the verb. Yes. Next, a verb tells us what a person or thing is. When you say the lotus is the national flower of India, then is over here is the verb. In fact, you see verbs, it shows being and possession. In this example, the nightingale has a sweet voice. Has over here is a verb which shows possession. Okay. Next, when you say the girls were happy, were is a verb over here because it shows being. Right? Next, we move on to transitive and intransitive verb. Now, what is a transitive verb? A verb which requires an object to complete its sense is called a transitive verb. In this sentence, you see, Rahul lifted the chair. The verb lifted passes over from the subject Rahul to the object chair. Right? So, this is a transitive verb. Further examples can be, the boy made made what you require an object then you can say in the sentence the boy made a project over here a project is an object and to make complete sense in the sentence you need an object so over here you see made is a transitive verb when you say deepa ate mangoes so it is a transitive verb because it requires an object to make complete sense that is mangoes okay but when you say deepa ate you are not making any sense isn't it next when we talk about intransitive uh, verbs then we can say that this intransitive verb does not require an object to complete its sense right in this sentence you see she speaks politely the action stops with the subject. The verb speaks makes complete sense. Isn't it? When you say the stars are twinkling. So here it is an intransitive verb because it does not require an object to make sense. The child smiled. So smiled again is an intransitive verb because it does not require an object to make sense. Right? Now, when... Uh, we are talking about objects we have to know that some verbs can have two objects that is the direct and indirect objects now when you see mother gave Ankit a glass of milk so here we have two objects Ankit and a glass of milk now when you question yourself gave what a glass of milk so this glass of milk is object one and this object one is call the direct object and gave whom that is to Ankit that is object 2 and object 2 is called the indirect object right so next you see this transitive verbs which takes a single object sometimes can take two objects you need to know that and one becomes a direct object and another becomes an indirect object again another example I can say that my mother gave me a watch over here you see me is the indirect object and a watch is the direct object and we can change the position also like uh, by using a preposition okay and there is no change in the meaning so you can say my mother gave a watch to me so again now we see that the direct object that is the watch it comes before the indirect object so there are this exceptional rules and by the use of this preposition we see that the uh, direction or the position changes right 
So, uh, next we will come to subject verb agreement. And for that subject uh, verb agreement, you need to know that a singular subject, it takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb. And that is in grammar called subject verb agreement. Right? Like when you say he plays, he is a singular subject and plays is a singular verb. Now when you say they play, so now we see they is plural subject and play becomes a plural verb. Right? Now we see that in singular verbs we are using s and in plural verbs we are not using s. You need to remember that. Don't get confused. Well, now coming to the rules. Now, if the subject consists of two or more singular nouns or pronouns joined with and, it takes a plural verb. In this example, you see Rekha and Madhu are sisters. So, Rekha is a noun, Madhu is another noun and it is joined by and. So, over here you see it takes a what? It takes a plural verb are just because this subject Rekha and Madhu it is plural. Okay. Next when you say he and I were present yesterday. So again the subject over here is plural and the verb also becomes a plural verb that is were. Got it? But if the two nouns refer to the same person or thing, the verb is singular. Like when you say the poet and novelist is no more, you are referring to the same person. So you take a singular verb that is is over here. Again, when you say the producer and director of this movie is an eminent social worker, again you are referring to the same person. Yes, that is the producer also and the director also. So, it takes a singular verb, right? Next, another important rule is when the subject consists of two nouns or pronouns joined with, along with, or as well as, then the verb agrees with one of them. That is the first of them. Yes. Now, in this example, you see the captain with all the players is present in the ground. You are using a singular verb. Why? Because the captain is the earlier subject and it is singular. Okay? You are not going to do this mistake looking into the word players. Okay, because you have to see that this verb agrees with the first of them and the first is a singular subject that is the captain. Another example you see to make it more clear, all the players with the captain are present in the ground. Here you see captain is singular, all the players is plural but over here the verb is plural just because you the verb agrees with the plural subject that is all the players which comes in the first. Okay. Next when you say I as well as they am tired of the work. Again the same thing. I is the singular subject and again M over here is the singular verb. Okay. They as well as I are tired of the work. Again the same thing. I over here is singular but you are not using the singular verb. You are using the plural because the earlier subject is they. Right? Next, we come to another rule that is when there is each, either, neither, everyone, one of, one the... of them, then this kind of sentences, it takes a singular verb. Like when you say each of the sisters sings well, those sisters is there, it's plural. But as the word each is there, so we are going to use the singular verb that is sings, right? Either of the two candidates is perfect for the job. Again, okay, over here, the singular verb is is used because the verb either is there. Neither of the two plans is suitable. Okay, the same thing. 
everyone knows the secret now again everyone is a singular subject and is sorry knows is the singular verb right now one of the new employees has helped me to complete this project so one of the new employees employees is plural but just because this word one is there so the verb is going to be a singular verb that is has right now again another example is a collective noun takes a singular verb when the subject stands for the collection as a whole in this example you see the entire class is present the class refers to the collective noun that is a class of students but you are going to use the singular verb that is is you are going to use a herd of elephants was crossing the road you are not going to say were you are going to use was just because it's a collective noun right next to another example we come now a plural noun which is the name of a country or province or title of a book is followed by a singular verb like in this example you see the united states of america is a large country so this singular verb is used next when you say gulliver's travels is an interesting book for children so gulliver's travels you might uh, be mistaken that this is a plural uh, subject but no it's not because uh, it is the name of a book or a novel and so it takes a singular verb okay next further examples can be when two or more singular subjects are connected by with together with and not besides no less than then the verb is singular for example when you say she and not you is to be blamed for this mistake so again we see that this is a singular verb he together with his brother goes for swimming so again it takes a singular verb goes because this word together with is there right now when you uh, use two subjects and it expresses one idea then the verb must be singular like he and she makes a couple now this is what it refers to one idea so it takes a singular verb two and two makes four so again okay, it takes a singular verb now uh, when we were talking about either neither here i would like to mention that when neither or either is used with nor or or the subject closer to the verb determines the number of the verb like when you see in this example neither the basket nor the apples were expensive so we are going to use the plural verb here because it agrees with the plural subject that is apples okay so don't do this mistake when you come across such sentences like when either or is there in the sentence you see either my brothers or my father is coming so we are using over here is why why singular verb because father is the singular subject and it doesn't agree with the earlier one that is my brothers okay though either is there so in this type of sentences please children don't get confused so these are basically the rules of subject verb agreement and if you follow this then the construction of sentences becomes quite easy for you all so i would like to say the rules apply the rules in this sentence you see when you say english is my favorite subject i as well as my friends likes to learn the rules each of the rules is interesting so i end up children using the rules hope the topic was interesting okay and i will be giving you all the assignments soon so till we meet again in the next class it's bye bye thank you